library own. And I have to say that two months in the making and like a year in the editing. What, what do you think of library owns, Charlie? I, I can't take it. No, 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 you're not. Wait, you. Because like like it was like like uh, the person came in and that's it. She said, "Get out." We had so much money in researching and time put into the documentary, and I was just fired. He had the research, right? Yeah, research, I'll say. But, but no, this is you know whoever that woman was, the the advisor just came in, totally ruined the shot. Ruined the shot. Ruined the shot. So like, what's next on the show? Okay, ne next we have checks in the mail. It's a game show. It's um starring Sean Lyon and with contestants and everything. So, like, let, let's go to check some mail right now. Yeah, let's go to that. I don't care if you ruin your life, but don't do it when I'm around. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Stupid head. I thought I heard it. The checks in the mail. You're beautiful. Don't ever change. You know what I mean. Hello, and welcome to the Check in the Mail, the show in which lying pays big bucks. I am your host, Sean Ryan, and our contestants for today are contestant number one, Aloysius Fenderbaum. Contestant number two, Sammy Sharp. And contestant number three, Bob Jim. <coughs> I'm glad you could all be here. Now, I'm sure you know the rules to our game, but I'll go over them one more time. Sammy, that sure is an ugly tie. Did you steal that from the Salvation Army? Hey, hey, buddy, hey, buddy, Betty, just kidding, just kidding. See how easy it is to lie? It's all you have to do. All right, but before we do that, our announcer, microphone, will tell our contestants what they'll win. Mike? Thank you, Sean. Today's winner will take home this custom-built vehicle equipped with carphone, CD player, air conditioning, and rear window defrost. But that's not all. Our winner today will also take home a check for ten kajillion dollars. Thank you, Mike. Those sound like, those sound like good prizes. And here's our first contestant, Aloysius. Our other contestants are in soundproof rooms. Aloysius, what would you do if you won the grand prize? Uh, I'd uh, <coughs> give it give, give it to charity. Good answer. Good answer. All right, and there's a picture that you're going to describe. And we'll show our audience at home what that picture really is. Wow. Al, describe away. Hey, thanks, Kai. Uh, you know, I really can't believe you found this. Uh, it's a picture that my father painted when I was a little boy back in uh, 1703. And uh, see, it's a picture. It's a picture of my mother. See, and notice uh, she lost a leg right, right here. See, you know, in a freak collision with a. Uh, Flying DeLorean, huh? and if you look way over here, way over here, you'll find uh, you'll find the tree, the actual tree that I set on fire that started the Great Fire of uh, 1899 that uh, completely destroyed New England. Thanks. Thank you, Aloysius. Yeah. After these messages, we'll bring contestant number two. The mail. Hey! You're beautiful, don't ever change, you know what I mean. My girl will call your girl, we'll talk, we'll do lunch, we'll leave a message on my machine. Huh, we lied. There are no commercials. We couldn't find anyone to sponsor us. I'm here with our second contestant, Sammy Sharp. Sammy, what would you do if you won the money? What, Sean, to you? What would you do if you won the grand prize? I'd probably give it to one of those charity things, you know, one of those charity things. It's a good answer, but I think I heard that one before. Well, here's our picture. Describe away. Okay, it seems to be uh, a portrait that my father painted of my uh, mother in 1703 when I was just a little pipsqueak boy, you know. Uh, her leg is, uh, you notice, is missing because of a freak collision with a flying uh, DeLorean. DeLorean, yeah. And if you look way, strain your eyes now, please. Way up here, way up here, 
you can see the actual tree that I set fire to to start the great fire of uh, uh, 1780692, whatever, but that, that, that's what I think he said, yeah. Yeah. I told you we needed doors in those soundproof rooms. And now for our third contestant, Bob Jim. Bob? All right. What would you do if you won the money and the grand prize? I would uh, dump my wife and move to the Bahamas. Wrong show. Honesty Pays is in the next studio. Well, here's our picture. Describe it. Thank you, Sean. I've seen this picture before in the Lou. It is a portrait of Miss S. Liberty, which the Statue of Liberty was based. As you can see, she is missing a leg, which was cut off in a tragic accident involving a flying DeLorean. And the torch, of course, is the torch that started the great fire of 1741, which destroyed all of France. Thanks to all three of our contestants. And now our studio audience will decide who lied the best. Well, studio audience, did number one, our wicked fender bomb, lie the best? <coughs> hmm. How about how about contestant number two, Sammy, Sammy Sharp? Well, how about last but not least, contestant number three, Bob Jim? <laughs> I think we have a winner. Yes, we do. Our winner is contestant number two, Sammy Sharp. You win the grand prize, ten kajillion dollars, and the keys to the vehicle. That's our show for today. See you next time on the Checks in the Mail. Him. Aloysius. Aloysius from the Hey, bottom. we don't pay you to answer questions. Just, just for tape. Yeah. I'm tape. All right, and like, and so, and like, and like, that guy was like pounding on Sammy's chest. Though. It, it was a bad, bad. It's issue. like, it's like you win, but then you lose. Right. It wasn't funny at all. Checks it yeah. out. Yeah. He in the stole mail. his answer. Hey. Hey, 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 we're not asking you any questions here. Don't. Uh, if you want to, you want to lose. If you want to be like him and drink this stuff, you know, just just keep it up. He's gonna force me to drink. Well, that's that's our show for today. That's our show. And, yeah, so. and we'll see you. Soon. Oh. We'll see you next time on uh, chocolate, uh, chocolate and fluff. Oh, good night, America. We'll see you later. I'm hitting the bottle. Hey, I don't care. I'm leaving. Hey. Yeah, you leave. Thanks for coming in. Unbelievable. Right now. Nee 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 nee. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh hello. Hi, Bob. Leave the mics alone. Great marks on. Oh dear, Brown. Where you go? Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy K. Hey, I'm Jimmy K. Guess it's my show. Well, my friend Scott wanted me to say hi. Hi, Scott. Well, that's our show for today. If you want your name to be said hi to on the Jimmy K Show, send your name to, uh... The Jimmy K Show, care of Prime Time 39, 25 Co. Ave, Southbridge, Massachusetts, 01550. See ya! Jimmy, Jimmy! Jimmy! Jimmy K!
that hurt. Oh, uh, uh, get out of here. You know, after cold out there, and after a long paper route, I just love to curl up with a good calculus book. But sometimes you can't do this alone, and sometimes you just gotta have a friend. Come in. Hey there, friend. Hey, Scotty. I just got done finishing your other half of the paper route. And boy, am I hungry. Well, look, Mom left us this note that says that we have to fix dinner tonight. Okay. So let's see what we have. Sounds good for me. Let's see. We have candied yams and pickled herring. Blah. Uh, we have stuffed crab meat and speared broccoli. Yee yee. No way, Scotty. Well, let's see what else we have in this house. Okay. <gasps> Look what I found. What'd you find there, A boy? can of Bix soup. Hey. More cholesterol than five pounds of butter. More sodium than a 32 ounce can of Morton salt. You know, Bic, that really sounds unhealthy. I think I'll have a bowl. It's good. Here, try some. Oh boy, that don't look delicious. I don't know what is. Oh, I guess I'll be the first one to taste it, huh? Okay, here we go. Boy, Scott, you know, this is going to be the best soup I ever tasted. And listen to these ingredients. Sodium, salt, th synthetically prepared noodles, mm. styrofoam corn pellets, Delish. monosorbyl gluteus maximus chromosilicate, what? red dye number three, hey, Scott, don't use those big words. salt, Thanks. saccharin, caffeine, and codeine. You know, Scott, Every time I take a sip from this big soup, I can almost feel my arteries hardening, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I read a government report that says that if you eat a can of big soup a day until you're 20, you'll live to be 22. Oh, all that in one can? What's his name again? Big soup. Ask for it by name. Big soup is the only good soup, and big soup is good. Bing! Delicious. Delicious, absolutely delicious. Thank you.